anybody's welcome uh, to play. And, you know, if you want to be part of us, I'm sure uh, everybody's going to be fine with it, but you got to, you know, you got to show up. You got to want to be there. And, uh, and I'm sure everybody's going to, you know, accept whoever, um, you know, that is. I, I get paid to, you know, bring results and win games. I don't get paid to, you know, babysit Tyree. So, you know, I get paid to challenge him uh, to try to help me uh, win games. I get paid to, you know, do the same thing to Tobias and, you know, all the other guys and they'll respond. But for the guys that are here, and if you're here, I'm going to challenge you and we're going to challenge each other to be better and try to win a championship. So that's not the first time this season we've heard Joel Embiid use the term babysitter, joined now by Zach Perk and Chanae. So, Zach, I'm going to start with you. Do the 76ers, as presently constructed, have enough to win the East right now? First of all, babysitting is a tough job. I don't know what it was. You know, five bucks an hour to uh, do it. I'm going you, look you can, you can you start to talk yourself into it they're near the top of the east the bucks right now their center is injured they don't have a great matchup for Embiid I still think the Sixers are just a little bit short look at what the bucks have done they just destroyed the Lakers last night they're 23 and 5 with their big 3 healthy they're hopeful Lopez will come back at some point and people we, we never talk about them the heat are just sitting there getting healthy and I think both of those teams I would probably take in a playoff series over Philadelphia. But this the fact that we're even having this discussion yep. is a tribute to what Joel Embiid, especially him, has done this year. What a majestic season. Yeah, and you think about the top of the East. You just mentioned the Bucks, who we all know can repeat if they so choose. The Miami Heat, they improved. The Chicago Bulls, they improved. And then the 76ers, they're probably playing with a majority of their, you know, last year's roster. The only person that really has improved so much to put the team on the back is Joel Embiid. I mean, listening to him talk, can't you guys just sort of feel that he's arrived? Like, we've always known he's been fun, that he's super talented, but it seems like he's figured it out. Like, his game, he's figured it out, how to handle the media, how to not get too much into the Twitter sphere where, you know, the conversations can be sort of a distraction. Joel Embiid deserves all the props this season for keeping them in contention and then also getting those role players to really step their games up in moments that matter most. We'll see, like, we'll determine if they can contend, but you have to be proud of the effort that Philly has put in so far, minus Ben Simmons. Absolutely, but I think, I think we are taking the other guys for granted uh, they're very underrated. We have to realize this team was what uh, Ben Simmons lay up away or a couple of possessions away of actually going to the Eastern Conference Finals last year. And some may say that if Tyrese Maxey was in the game instead of Ben Simmons, that they would have won the game. He has improved so much. That's why Philly don't want to give him up. But when you look at their team and you look at MB, when you look at the Eastern Conference, first of all, the Eastern Conference is wide open. Yes, I got Miami as my favorite, but that still don't mean that Philly can't be playing great basketball. Tobias Harris living up to his contract. Seth Curry knocking down those shots like we know he can. But it's nobody, no answer in the NBA for Joe L and B. Period. It's Kevin Durant, then it's Joel Embiid. Back. You have zero answer for him. Back. So if he's at his best, he could take you through a seven-game series. I'd put Giannis in that conversation. I yeah, would put yeah. Good about, addition. No, 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 but he's dominant, Malika. I'm talking about pure out skills. See, pure out skills. There's certain ways you could guard Giannis. You're not, you're not just going to sag off his Can I feet. just say it's telling, overarching this entire discussion that we barely brought up Brooklyn. Like, that's how haywire oh. the situation has <laughs> gotten. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.